In this tutorial we're going to create a cloth which we're going to drop over the torus knot that you can see there. Um, the way to do that is to create a rectangular prism which becomes the cloth and then apply a cloth modifier to that and then animate it as it falls down over the solid object. So we'll start by creating our rectangular prism or our box. Click on create over in the command menu and box and then just do a drag to create a large flat rectangular prism like that. Now we'll just change the parameters for that a little bit so with it still selected we're going to modify and I'll just change the length and width on it to something which would suit my situation here and the height I'll make it very thin say 0.2 because we like it to behave like a clock and the last thing you'll notice is that I've given it 40 length and 40 width segments. We need a quite a bit of geometry here so that it behaves naturally and, and flops around the object. Um, but obviously too much will just put a lot of a render load on the machine, uh, particularly if I've got a more complicated picture than I'm trying to, to render. Okay, now we'll just position that a little bit. Um, I'll just center that on X and Y so that it's directly above my torus knot and then hold up a little bit so that it sits above it. Now we're ready to apply the cloth modifier. So with that selected, I'll go to the modifier list and select cloth modifier. And then in my command panel, I go to object, object properties. Click on there and the object properties dialog will appear. Now, because my cloth box was selected, it's already in my objects list. Um, so I'll click on that and at the top you see that it's currently by default inactive. Now we need to click on the radio button next to cloth to make it into cloth. We could actually go in theory and set up my cloth using all the parameters here but there are some presets which are generally speaking easy to use if they're suitable and in this particular case we'll use a cotton preset. Now the other thing to do now is to define how the cloth is going to react to the torus knot. To do that we need to add that object into our simulation. So I'll click add objects, select the torus knot and click add and that will add that into the objects in my simulation. In this case though it's not going to be cloth obviously it's going to be a collision object. So at the bottom of that window I'll click on the radio button next to collision object there are a few collision properties. Now these are sometimes need changing if things don't behave correctly. In some cases the cloth will fall through the object slightly or it just doesn't respond to the collision properly. Um, but generally speaking if we leave it at default for the time being um, we will only come back and, and tweak that if we really need to. Once we're happy with all that we click OK and we're ready to begin our simulation. Over in the simulation panel here, on the right, you'll see there are a few different commands that we can give it. Um, we can simulate, follow progress, erase a simulation and truncate a simulation. Let's just begin the simulation by clicking on the simulate button and you'll see the cloth begin to fall down over the torus knot and wrap around it a bit. Now we usually would run the simulation um, to the point where it's starting to look a little bit silly or uh, maybe it's just stopped, the cloth stopped falling. Um, it doesn't matter if we run it a bit past the best point because we can move back through the animation to the point where it looks best. You can see that's just falling down now. The cloth's beginning to wrap it around a little bit. When it's reached the point where we're happy we can just click the cancel button and that will stop the simulation at that point. Okay, that'll do. Now by using this slider we can run back through the animation and just find the point where it seems uh, probably around about, yeah, somewhere around there will be fine. Okay. And that's finished. Now if I render that quickly we'll see what we've got and it looks fine. Now, 
probably there to be nice to add some materials to the cloth so that it looks like a checkered cotton or something like that. Um, and there may be, I don't know, a bit of lighting, whatever we need to do. When we're happy with the cloth, we can just bake that in by right clicking and converting to an editable poly. Now, one of the things that we will occasionally find is that the cloth might behave a little bit strangely. For instance, it might fall through the object slightly and it tends to create that sort of an effect. Um, that can be fixed by simply tweaking the cloth up a little bit so it sits above it or going into those collision parameters um, and adjusting those so that it behaves a little bit more more correctly. Anyway, there we have it, cloth falling over an object.